Hello and welcome to this machine learning tutorial and welcome to the fourth section of this course, Poker Hand Predictions with K-Means Clustering. In this section we are going to take a look at one very interesting example when we will try to predict what do we have in a poker hand, which is of course something that no one can do, but we are going to approach this data and see what we will get when we use K-Means Clustering. To sum it up, in this section, we are first going to explore the dataset and identify the problem. Then we are going to see what k-means clustering algorithm is all about. And then we are going to do some feature analysis and feature engineering before heading on to the implementation and analyzation of the results. As you can see, pretty standard workflow that we took in previous sections as well. So let's start from the first video of this section where we are going to explore poker hand dataset, identify the problem. In this video, we are going to examine poker hand dataset, and we are going to examine what kind of problem do we have in our hands when we are using this dataset. So this dataset basically contains simple data. Each record of this dataset is an example of poker hand consisting of five playing card drawn from a standard deck of 52 cards. Each card is described using two attributes, suit and rank, for a total of 10 predict attributes. Basically, since in a poker we are always dealing five cards for each hand, every card is described using two features. One is used to describe the suit and the other is used to describe the rank. There is one additional feature of basically class attribute that describes the poker hand, meaning it describes the strength of the hand. And because of the rules of the poker, order of the cards is important as well, because there are 640 possible royal flush hands as compared to four. Basically, we can have royal flush only one for each suit. As mentioned previously, this is a classification problem. We are going to use clustering for trying to solve it and to analyze the data. So, in poker hand dataset, as mentioned previously, we are having 10 independent variables, two features for each card of the hand, and we are having a prediction now. This dataset has two files. The first one is poker hand train CSV file, and the second one is poker hand test CSV file. And those files look something like this. Basically, for each card, we are having suit and rank, as you can see for card 1, card 2, card 3, card 4, card 5, we are having a suit and the rank feature. And finally, we are having a poker hand result in the final column. In probabilities of getting one of these each values is represented here, so we can see that getting a royal flush which has like the smallest probability and then we go to nothing which is having the biggest probability uh, down there. 